It's time now for round one of Coffee Talk, and we started with a shout out to this guy and his wisdom. You have shared that you have a 24 hour rule. Hmm. And I've actually oh, yeah. tried adopting it in my own life. Have you? I, How's that always, working for you? Not the best. <laughs> but if someone emails you, texts you something, or sends you a message on the Great Day Facebook or just, page just, about just, how much they hate you. Or, yeah, or just, but we get that kind of stuff a lot. Yes. You don't you don't have to deal with that. But even if it's just an interaction with one of your kids or your spouse or your manager or your friend or your neighbor or whatever, mm -hmm. whatever. You, you give it 24 hours. I try to. Before responding, if, if that's it's something option. that's frustrating or maddening. Right. Essentially, it gets you out of the heat of the moment so you don't say something you might regret. And now new research says Kent has a point. Well done. According to a study out of Duke University, when it comes to making balanced judgments, it really is best to sleep on it. So to come to this conclusion, they did something very interesting. They took pictures of people sleeping. Pretty much. <laughs> and they dubbed it the garage sale task. Now, participants rummaged through boxes filled with everyday things of varying value. Unbeknownst to the participants, though, those bargain hunters, each box contained the exact same total value of goods, but the high value items varied from box to box. So right after they went through the boxes, they gave feedback on the value they thought the boxes had. And some said, hey, these are worth so much more than the answers they gave the next day after they slept on it and thought about it more. So according to the head researchers here, they said that these participants made more rational choices when they really did sleep on it. Mm. So they're saying take a page out of Sleeping Beauty's book, sleep <laughs> on it just one night. She right. was asleep for a very long time. <laughs> and don't always trust maybe those first impressions that you have of people, of situations, or things. Yes, I, well, yeah, and my, I call mine the 24-hour rule, mm -hmm. and w what I try to do is just, if, and I'm not very good at it, which is why I have to have 24 hours, is subtract the emotion out of this, whatever this is, an argument or a decision or a conversation or a confrontation or whatever it is. I, if you're emotional, you can't think straight, mm -hmm. and... Yeah, that's it. And I, and I, yeah, I'm, I'm glad it works. Well, good. <laughs> I've tried doing that when Mark and I are disagreeing on something, and I'll say, whoa, 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 you tell me when you're ready to discuss it. Yeah, that's good. It doesn't Again, always pan out. No, but you want to take the emo, you want to subtract the emotion mm -hmm. from it, because that, it, that just drives everything. It, mm -hmm. You can't think your way past anger or whatever if you can't.